step that we'll go through is assembling the power cord. For your convenience, we provide the amplifier without a termination. That way you can connect to your existing outlets if you have one already present in your lab. So you'll notice we've got four terminals here. Today we're working with 208 three phase. So four wires with that. So we'll go ahead and connect those to the cord. Now that we've got all the wires terminated, we're going to go ahead and install the back shell. So there should be a keyway on here that you can align to get this to slide on all the way. All set. Go ahead and strip the insulation off of these wires. Next we're going to plug in the fan. You'll see down in the bottom here two small pieces of foam. Generally your cables are going to pass through that as a dust relief for our application today. We're actually just going to plug it in through the door. So you insert and lock. The next connection we're going to make is the shaker control cable. Same thing holds true about passing through the dust cover. In our case, we're going to pass right through the door here. Insert and lock. Second connection that we're going to make for the shaker is going to be the zero position monitoring sensor. Plugs in right here. We'll thread those in. For this application, we're using twist lock plugs for power. So insert fully and twist to the back of the two controllers, connected the drive cable and connected the two ethernet cables over to a switch that we also installed in the back. So if you come around here, you'll see the network switch here. If you are only dealing with a four channel system, you will not require a network switch. In that case, feel free to run your network cable directly to the PC. The connection for the output, which we'll clean that up a little bit later. But you'll see right down here, the dash 26X1, that's the input for the amplifier. That's connected to the drive output of the channel one through four, 9500 controller. Now that we've got everything connected on the back side of the controllers and the network switch installed, we can go ahead and power up the system. We've got the big turn switch here, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, and you'll see the auxiliary power will turn on, your 9500 controllers will power up, and you'll start seeing some display on the touchscreen interface. like to change the language that the touch screen is operating in, press the globe button down here surrounded by the flags. Another thing that you'll note is currently we have a warning. When you see this triangle with the exclamation point in the center flashing, that means that you have an active alert. So if you click on there, you'll see it'll pull up our list of current errors. So the error that we have right now is emergency stop. That means that the emergency stop button here right next to the display is set. If you want to unset that, go ahead and pull. And then to reset the alarm code, press and hold reset for about two seconds and let it go. Now you can see that our emergency stop error has gone away. So you get back to our home screen, Go ahead and click on the home there. And we're back. All right, so the next step after we have everything connected, is go ahead and 
hit the on button. Here you'll see it in green. You'll hear the fan will come up. Notice there's an intermittent yellow light here indicating that we're coming up to power. And you'll see now the gain has gone away and you've lost the on button. So we did that intentionally just to show some of the potential issues that you can run into. In this case, we're going to have under pressure shaker. So we didn't connect the vacuum hose to the shaker. There's going to be a sensor inside of the shaker that's going to say that the fan has never kicked on or didn't power up appropriately. So let's go ahead and fix that. The reason we were getting the under pressure warning is because we hadn't connected the hose between the blower and the shaker. So let's install that now. Now the blower is connected up properly, let's give that another try. The on button here. Coming up to level, 